Hi friends, Miss Glenn here. Welcome to lesson number seven. Let's dive right in. So today we are going to start with a very special way of counting. So we've been working a lot with counting and doing different things with numbers, but today we're gonna count the say 10 way. What is it called? The say 10 way. So I'm gonna show you exactly what that means before I ask you to do it. So when you count the say 10 way, you start just counting normally. So watch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have one full group of ten. So I have one ten. So now when I count on, I'm gonna say ten, one, ten, two, ten, three, ten, four. What do you think is next? 10, 5, 10, 6, 10, 7, 10, 8, 10, 9, two tens. Now I have two full rows of 10, and one full 10 is just 10 ones. Two full tens is two groups of 10 ones. So here I have one group of tens, one 10 two groups of tens, two tens. How many tens would this be? Three groups of 10. Three tens, this would be four groups of 10. Yeah, good job. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're gonna count together. We start normally. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now remember what comes next. We're not saying 11. We're saying 10, one, 10, two. I have a 10 and two ones. 10, three, 10, four, 10, five, 10, six, 10, seven, 10. What's next? Eight, 10, nine, two tens. Now I have two tens. Okay, what would be next? Two tens, one, two ten, two, two ten, three, two ten, four. What's next? Two ten, five. Good job. We will be doing some more say 10 counting in the future. So store that in your brain so that you can pull it back out when we are ready for it. Okay, now we're going to go over our number of the day. Now, we haven't used the sheet on here yet. So if you don't have this, you can just follow along because it's really good exposure to number sense, okay? And if you do wanna download this sheet, I will put it, I'll put the link to this sheet in the description below so you can click it and download it if you want to. Our number of the day today is going to be seven. So here I have my number of the day. What is it? Seven. And now I have to write the actual word, S-E-V-E-N, and I use the lines to make sure it's neat. Okay, now I'm gonna go to my tally box. Okay, and when we do tallies, we do something special at five. Just like when we get to five in a 10 frame, we go to the next row. When we get to five on our hand, we go to the next hand. When we get to five with tallies, one, two, three, four, five is a cross. So that means when I see this crossed group of tallies, I know it's five and it's easier for me to count six, seven. So when I go to count, I can count on from five. Five, six, seven. Good. I'm going to do my drawing of seven. Um, and let's see. I'm going to think about when I do drawings for a math problem, I don't draw them all over the page. I don't draw them all in one long line. I draw them like they're in a 10 frame, so it's easier for me to see how many I have. Five, six, seven. And then I'm actually gonna go right below. I'm gonna fill in my actual 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
cannot go to the bottom row until you fill the top row. Today, we're gonna skip these two boxes over here, but we are going to fill out one more, one less. So if our number is seven, what is one more than seven? Seven, eight. Yes, you have to count on one more. Eight is one more than seven. What is one less than seven? So we have to count back. So seven, six. One less than seven is six. Okay, so there is our number of the day all filled out. Good job, you are rocking it. And we're gonna move right on to some concept development to try and help grow our math brains, okay? So what I need you to get for this is your number bond template. We used this yesterday. Again, if you don't have this, it's fine. You can pause and draw it on the board. I will do that with you right now. So remember, it's okay to use a number bond up and down or sideways, as long as you know the parts and the whole. So here I have a sideways number bond, my two parts and my whole, right? And then underneath I have my expression boxes, okay? Or equation boxes. Part plus part equals whole, part plus part equals whole. Okay, good. I also need you to get 10 counters. So I'm gonna use cubes today. If you don't have cubes, you can use pieces of macaroni, you can use pennies, coins, whatever you have that you can use as counters, I need you to get 10 of them, okay? So here we go. Here's the picture that we're working with today. What do you see in this picture? Books, yeah, I see books too. Can you look at this picture and think of a way that we can separate these books into two different groups? Go ahead, I want you to have an answer in your head. Yeah, so I, I heard a lot of my friends earlier say that we could do the top row and the bottom row. So that's what we're going to do right now, okay? What I need you to do is on your number bond or on the one that you drew on your paper, you're going to lay it flat, okay? You're going to lay it flat so it's down on the table. And... We're gonna look at this picture again and we're gonna count. Okay, if we're gonna separate by top row and bottom row, how many are in the top row? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna take five of my cubes. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna put them in my first part box because that's gonna be my first part, okay? And then I'm gonna go back to the picture and say, okay, that's my top, that's my first part. What's my second part? The bottom row. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's four books in the bottom row, so I'm gonna take four cubes. One, two, three, four, and put them in my other part. I have one leftover cube that I don't need, so I'm gonna put it to the side. Okay, I have four cubes and five cubes in my part boxes because those are the two parts in the picture that we decided to break the books up into, right? So now I have to find my whole number. What can I do to find my whole number? Hmm, I could sit here and count all the cubes. I could say, Oh, I already know that this is a group of five. So I'm gonna start with this five and I'm gonna count on to count the rest of the cubes. Let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So my total, 
my total is going to be nine. Okay, so go ahead and write that number nine in your whole box, in your total box. And then we have to use this number bond to try and write our, um, our number sentences. And you know what? I'm just going to flip this around boop, so that it's easier for everyone to see. Okay, so there's our nine in our whole box. Now we have to use it to make our expressions. So let's see. Well, we know that we're going to put our parts on either side of the plus sign. So I'm gonna start up here with my first part, which is four. So four plus five equals my whole number, which is nine. And then I can write a totally different expression just by flipping my two parts. So instead of putting the four part first this time, I'm going to put the five part first this time, and then the four. Five plus four equals my total doesn't change. It's still nine. Okay, good job. All right, now let's look back at that picture again. Let's look back at that picture again. We separated it the first time by top row and bottom row. What's another way that we could separate these books into two different groups? Hmm. Oh, I wonder if we could do picture books and non-picture books. So the books that have a picture on the front and the books that don't. So let's see, if we did it that way, we would have a group of, what would our first part be with pictures on them? Two, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna take all my cubes off my board and in my hand, I'm gonna erase everything I did on my board. I erased it all. Okay. My first group is going to be two, the two books that have pictures on them. So in my number bond, I'm going to take two of my cubes and put them in my first part box. That is my first part. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back to the picture and I'm gonna look, okay, how many books do not have pictures? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that will be my, that will be my second part. So I have my two, now I need seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, and that's the same amount of cubes as I used before. I didn't have to get any more and I didn't have any left over. Okay, so now I have to count to figure out my whole number. Well, we can think back. The amount of books in the picture didn't change, so I bet the whole number is still the same. But just to double check, I'm gonna start with the bigger part and count on to see if I get the same number. So I know one of my parts this time was seven. That was my bigger part. So I'm gonna start with seven, and I'm gonna count on to get eight, nine. So my whole number again is nine. Now I'm gonna use that number bond to help me write my equations. Let's see, I'm gonna start with the seven again because I'm gonna start with my part. Seven plus, what's my other part? Two equals my total, which is nine. What, what can I do again? There's something really simple, I can't remember. Oh, I can just flip flop my two parts. So this time I'll put the two first plus seven equals nine. There we go, good job. So, my task for you is to look at this picture and see, is there another way, is there another way that you could break these books into two groups? Hmm, maybe you could do blue books and not blue books. Just a thought. But that is our lesson for today. 
We practice number bonds. We practice decomposition, which is, remember, breaking a number into two different groups. And I need you to show me two thumbs up. Point them at yourself and say, I am a mathematician. Great job, friends. I hope that you enjoyed our math lesson today. And I will see you again for the next math lesson. Goodbye.